Welcome to your CaptureU tutorial. This video will provide an introduction and general overview of the CaptureU app. CaptureU is an app that allows users such as biomechanists, researchers, and coaches to collect data on human movements while wearing Bicon Blue Trident sensors. This app is only available to users with an iOS device and can be found in the App Store. At a minimum, your iOS device should operate on iOS 10 with Bluetooth version 4.2. For optimum performance and the recommended configuration, use an iOS device running iOS 12 equipped with Bluetooth version 5.0. While there are many devices that satisfy these requirements, please note that the device will influence the number of sensors that can be collected within the different capture modes. For a full list of current compatible devices, please see the Vicon Capture You User Guide found at docs.vicon.com. When you first open the Capture You app, you will see two main sections, Capture and Activity Widgets. At present, only the Capture modes are available for use, so we will talk about these first. The three Capture options are To Sensor, To Device, and Real-Time Insight. To Sensor allows you to save directly to the onboard memory of the Blue Trident sensors. This means that those wearing the sensors will have the freedom to perform their activities without risk of data loss. The low G accelerometer and gyroscope capture at 1125 Hz, while the high G captures at 1600 Hz. The magnetometer captures at 100 Hz. This mode is ideal if you want to capture at the highest possible data rate without having to be in proximity of the iOS device. Data on each sensor must be extracted through the PC via CaptureU desktop. To device allows you to stream data from up to six Blue Trident sensors directly to the iOS device through the CaptureU app. To ensure constant data flow, the sensors must be within proximity of the iOS device. You have the choice of either streaming the high G accelerometer at 800 Hz or the low G accelerometer and gyroscope at 562 Hz. The magnetometer will also record at 100 Hz. Data can be exported directly from the app through any of your devices export options, which could include email, airdrop, or sending to any other third-party apps such as Dropbox or Slack. This mode is perfect if you need to view or share data quickly. Real-time insight gives you the ability to view a single axis of the accelerometer or gyroscope of up to two sensors in real-time and overlay it onto a real-time video. Sensors will record at the same sampling frequencies as the to-device capture mode that is 800 Hz for the high G accelerometer and 562 Hz for the low G accelerometer and gyroscope. This mode has the ability to provide notifications when certain thresholds in that axis have been breached. Overall, this mode is perfect if you want to provide real-time feedback on a movement and receive instant statistics into certain performance metrics. For further details on each of these options, please refer to their specific How Do I videos. Below the capture options, you'll see activity widgets. These widgets are activity-focused workflows that produce activity-related metrics and are particularly useful in situations where a quick assessment with minimal user setup may be required. This feature is still under development and will be available in a future release, but you can observe a walkthrough by selecting Swimming. The idea here is that you can enter a widget, add in a real-time video, select a sensor, and begin recording. When you are done recording, a summary of performance metrics will be instantly calculated and ready for export. We will showcase these features in more depth when they are released. To bring up the CaptureView app settings menu, click on the cog at the bottom right. The first option is to reset sensors you may need to do this if, for example, you close out of the app before stopping and capture. Click Reset Sensors, then highlight the sensors that you want to reset, and then click Reset Selected. The next option is for help. This will allow you to access our website directly from your device's default web browser. Finally, in the bottom right, you will find useful information such as the app version and the current firmware version for the sensors. 
Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions about your hardware or software, please do not hesitate to contact us at support at vicon.com. Please also feel free to check out the links below for additional documentation and videos.